Returning to my Coin Lady channel, I am pleased to see you again. At the moment, we are still tracking Bitcoin, and we are sitting slightly above 54 cents. Check out the graph, that's where we had the deeper dive. In addition, the Bitcoin chart shows that it was rising before suddenly falling and then moving sideways. The same is true for XRP at the moment, but in the future, when Bitcoin's price drops, XRP will have already outpaced it during alt season. And if we continue down the path we took from 2017 to 2018, Bitcoin will likely take first place again. This took place long ago. The black swan capitalist is the source of this. I expect a market risk crash, probably masked by a fabricated event, because I haven't seen any evidence of a crypto bull run preceding a fall. This will set things in motion. Everyone agrees on one point. Prior to taking off, we should brace ourselves for a significant setback and some terrible news. Furthermore, that information will always be sold. Selling news is not possible. Keep holding on if you see XRP falling or terrible news just before it happens, we'll soar after that. Since that occurred in earlier cycles, people are demanding it again this time. During her introductory remarks at Ripple's Well, Monica Long discussed the factors propelling institutional adoption of blockchain technology and digital assets, both of which are expected to reach new heights in 2024. Thus, the momentum for worldwide regulatory certainty in 2024 institutional adoption is clear. Give the word global some thought. Until then, I maintain the view that crypto laws will be applicable on a worldwide scale. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as legitimate investment vehicles on Wall Street. Assets in the actual world tokenized. For tokenization to really take off, I must say that I am patient. For XRP and many other utility-driven cryptocurrencies, that will be a huge game-changer. Oh my! A recent report by the Bank of Russia verifies that XRP will be utilized for cross-border settlements using BRICS. My initial reaction was one of skepticism, but upon reviewing the accompanying white paper, I was able to understand that XRP was central to the argument. I am aware that there are already several rails embedded in BRICS and Ripple. Russia has experience with Ripple from previous collaborations, thus they are well-versed on XRP and its capabilities. Still, I need additional information about this before I can continue. I believe this info is outdated, so I would like to get new facts about it. I don't believe this is up-to-date information, but I do know that BRICS will eventually use XRP. The BRICS have those rails within for a purpose. London goes digital with a massive Ripple ad campaign. Some people immediately pointed out that those are Ripple advertising. Even though it's unrelated to XRP, Brad and David have both stated that XRP is fundamental to Ripple's operations. And believe me when I say that Ripple is busy laying the groundwork for XRP to run on, and we will get filthy rich off of those rails. The message that Google is sending to scammers through its crackdown on crypto scam apps is clear, this is not going to happen until we take action. The good news is that it appears Google is beginning to remove all of the scam apps from its marketplace. I really wish YouTube did that. I don't know why YouTube allows Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse, who use artificial intelligence, to constantly post videos promising to quadruple your XRP bag. Nothing but a scam. When will these con artists stop taking advantage of people? And how will they pay for it? Why? because these scams continue to attract victims. Things aren't always what they seem to be when they are. Institutions and users from Uphold, Bitstamp, Bitso, MoonPay, Ender, Sir Ender, ReserveCoin, Mina, and Bullish will be able to purchase RLUSD globally once regulatory approval is granted. At this time, you are unable to purchase RLUSD directly. From Ripple, it is not yet live, but you will be able to get it on the exchanges. You still don't understand it. Ads for RLUSD are popping up everywhere, and you may buy them by clicking this link. Those are obvious con jobs. You know, you can convert your cryptocurrency holdings into RLUSD whenever you want to cash out. We're almost there, and here's something else, after our LUSD goes online, we'll be able to reach $1 just like I mentioned in yesterday's video. 
After that, we'll keep going up. Constructed with commercial use in mind, RLUSD combines the security of fiat currency with the immutability of blockchain technology, allowing for instantaneous, internationally resolved payments, something I believe will greatly benefit XRP. At all times, with no middlemen, with easy on-off ramps, and the ability to convert between fiat and cryptocurrency. Tokenization grants access to the value of physical assets. Assuming this gains traction, you know, the days of transferring USDC to my bank to purchase cryptocurrency are over. Now I will transfer RLUSD to my bank to purchase cryptocurrency, and when I need to withdraw a small amount of cryptocurrency, I will withdraw it into RLUSD. That's the part that I find most appealing. This is being sent by Eric. He instructed me to look into this. I think it's important to highlight that RLUSD serves as a gateway between the analog, traditional, or fiat money world and the digital asset world, providing a means to transfer dollars between the two. The most practical use cases for RLUSD, according to Long, include international payment settlement and the tokenization of physical assets like bonds, real estate, and securities. Sure, many of folks will point out that they were hoping XRP would do that. Bridge currency is a must-have for transferring tokenized assets. Ruby is a medium-term instrument. Furthermore, it serves as a layer of trust. For the same reason that Russia has mistrust of China, I maintain stating that BRICS will utilize XRP or a similar cryptocurrency. Russia is not someone that China trusts. They will, therefore, require a layer of confidence when transacting monetary value. That is the purpose of XRP. You have my best congratulations. Chris Larson and Sheila Baer, the former chair of the FDIC, have both joined the RLUSD advisory board. For two consecutive years, she ranked as Forbes magazine's number two most powerful woman. This woman could have found work anywhere in the globe, but she is most famous for her tenure as chair of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which lasted from 2006 to 2011. She might have gone to any number of other areas for employment, but she settled on Ripple. Your thoughts on why she acted that way? Just like Rosie Rios, she has witnessed it all. Reason being, Rosie Rios is just one more. If she wanted to join the board at Ripple, she could have gotten a position elsewhere. For the simple reason that they can see into the future. For them, XRP represents the future. They are aware that RippleNet will facilitate the global transfer of funds. Just by looking at that, you can tell that you care about what happens next. Speakers Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse of Ripples were invited by the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. Presenting the 8th Annual Fintech Conference. Tokenization of Assets in the Real World, Tokenized Deposits, Banks, BAS, and the Possible Impact of Fintech on the Future of Finance are some of the topics covered. Now I'm bringing this up because, well, take a look at who else is there. Forbes, JP Morgan, the Policy Institute, and the $1 trillion Digital Currency Initiative. You can see New York University, the Federal Reserve, the Bank of Philadelphia, Coinbase, and the Bank of Canada underneath there. You just can't be at an event like this, sitting down with all these other influential people, and not realize that Ripple and XRP are the wave of the future. There's a good reason Ripple is never left out, they're about to shake up the whole banking industry. Swift will also get a significant update from them. Additionally, James Wallace elucidates the inner workings of the Ripple payment network. How much money will change hands in the following currency pairs, USD, XRP, MX, and N. I will wait for him to explain it before showing you what I observe. Our most recent and revolutionary development is the utilization of XRP as a cryptocurrency to enable the transfer of funds across international borders. For international money transfers, the previous correspondent banking paradigm required pre-funding of accounts, our solution eliminates this need, freeing up potentially trillions of dollars held in so-called Nostro accounts. Instead of using the antiquated correspondent banking approach, we may accomplish this by quickly converting US dollars to XRP and then XRP into, example, Mexican pesos. My video would not have been seen without you. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing.
I will see you later.